Jo here, aka Josie's Muse. Welcome to my weird little world. Uh, recently on my Instagram, I did a little bit of a review and sort of some of the hacks that I used to create uh, these beautiful little uh, tins that I put all my Prima sets in. So I thought I'd sort of merge it all, all the sort of ideas that I use and tips and tricks uh, into one video to share with you all. So when I was planning sort of which sets I would put in which palettes, I got a bit excited with the three new Prima sets. So you've got Complexion, Essence and Woodlands. So I forgot to record all that, so you're going to kind of see it after the fact. So this is uh, a little swatch book that I keep uh, all my mixes, all my old palettes that sort of thing in just a good reference to kind of keep separate to my actual sketchbook journals um, so I can refer back to so the actual original Prima swatches how they came in the sets I've popped in there and this is how I've set them up now so I just wanted to talk a bit about the actual three new Prima palettes there is a little bit of crossover from old palettes uh, so these two here are from, uh, I think, Pastel Dreams. Uh, they're definitely out of old palettes because I now have them doubled up. And there's a bit of crossover between the three new ones as well. A couple of colours that um, are mixed between the three new palettes and doubled up. Um, so I've just sort of popped them aside. Um, I will use them at some point. Uh, so what can I say? Really love the how they filled the gaps with the three new palettes um, from what wasn't in the existing palettes. I really like some of these greys, this shadow. Uh, there's they filled it out with sort of some true greens and some true blues and different things like that. So really, really happy with um, across the board the range that I can kind of get through all of the Prima sets. So in the rest of this video, I just wanted to show you how I've uh, recreated these tins to sort of something that's a bit more pleasing in Josie's world, how I've done that and how I've um, set them all up sort of in tones that work for me. Enjoy. Okay, so you've got your um, original palettes as they come. So I swatched those all out like so. And I've got this little sort of swatch bible that I keep of um, different colour palettes, different things that I like. And I've actually got all the originals in there. Um, so then I've got a bit of a reference to refer back to of how the palettes actually came. So yeah, so that's a handy tip. That's really definitely something to um, keep for yourself. It's good to refer back to all the time. So then what I've done is I've made a little template for myself uh, that fits sort of nicely in the top. Uh, I don't tend to use this bit so I've just sort of got this so that it sort of sits in there and doesn't sort of fall out. Um, so it's quite a good reference. So I've made this little template and I've lined them all up like little soldiers sort of in more a um, tone that's pleasing to me uh, and then I swatch them all out and what I do is I've got cold contact I actually sort of double side that to that to make a little um, cover for this so that when you're putting water on it that sort of thing it doesn't get all yucky and damaged and you have to remake your swatch swatch them out um, I'm fairly light-handed with it because that's the way I work uh, in general with my watercolor so um, it's good to sort of have it uh, at the depth that you would normally work so you've got a good reference to refer to um, so what I do is sort of go water to the plate and then onto the swatch Okay, 
so this is what you're looking for um, it's sort of like contact but a bit thicker so I've got the sheet there sort of double sided now and then I'll just cut around it and put it in so when your water's um, being splashed on it and other paint you're not messing up your beautiful swatch you've created okay so a bit of tin prep so if you're like me you hate the black black freaks me out I just think this looks much better so what I've done is taken the sticker off with a bit of eucalyptus oil. Uh, this round of sets, they actually come off way better than the first round. So thank you for that, Prima. Um, so then what I've done is prepped the whole inside and outside of the case with a bit of Ajax or a bit of gumption also works really well. Um, what that does is gets the sticky residue off, but it also preps this surface here for paint uh, I find your paint just sits on the palette a lot better after you've done that little initial prep work then what I've done is taken the ring out of the back of the case and then taken some masking tape sort of all around so you well, after you've spray painted it you've still got that white lip so all the way around there and then sort of just a little bit on the inside because when it sits flat it sort of sits like that so your masking tape kind of covers and I don't find you get any off spray on that bit anyway yeah so I've gone ahead and masking taped the two cases that I want to paint uh, and then I basically just go ahead and spray paint them and let them dry and do them all in different colors and you have this beautiful range rather than looking at the black Okay, so tins all spray painted. Uh, I definitely recommend sort of the Dulux brand from Bunnings. Um, it just tends to uh, cover a lot better. There is on the new sets, there's this sort of symbol that Prima's added on there and it sort of sits over it a lot better than a couple of the other brands. I actually ruined uh, one of these tins with a sort of a cheaper brand uh, that I used. So this is what I ended up with guys. So from the uh, three new Prima sets, the Essence, Woodlands and the Complexion sets, I've uh, merged them into a set of all my sort of more what would be my neutrals. So like your browns and your sort of deeper reds, your greys and more your lighter browns. So I put all those in the one tin, which I've painted copper. Then I've put all the blues together. In that one. And then all my greens together in this one. The previous set, so this is the all the ones from the shimmer palette. And all my purples and reds and pinks go in this one. Uh, this one's just sort of a little bit of a surplus one. I've just got sort of a set of uh, my Daniel Smiths sort of on a more portable travel scale in that one. Uh, you might notice I don't have any yellows in this. They're actually in uh, just in one of the normal Prima set black cases hidden about in the studio I don't tend to use yellow a lot so sort of the yellow and oranges that I know I won't use so I've sort of popped in there so they're still easy to get through but not really in my everyday use so then I pop them all in this sweet little holder that my dad made uh, it's sort of like a plate rack I guess um, he's just sort of popped some dowels along so that they all sit beautifully and sweet in my studio, easy to pop in and out of to get at. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this little um, video has plenty of tips and tricks for you to take home to your own studios and your own creative endeavours. Um, 
If there's any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'm more than happy to help and answer any questions that I can. Thanks for watching.